And now we will take part in the remembrance of communion, um, that time that we have been calling the spiritual communion. It is a prayer of hope as we wait for the day that we can be face to face again to celebrate the Lord's Supper together. Let us together say what is printed in our bulletin. Dear Jesus, we believe that you are truly present in the Lord's Supper. We love you above all things, and we desire to possess you within our souls. And since we cannot now receive you sacramentally, we beseech you to come spiritually into our hearts. We unite ourselves to you together with your faithful people gathered around every table of your church, and we embrace you with all the affections of our souls. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. And now is a time um, while we're not actually receiving the offering physically, this is a time just to be reminded of, uh, of the offering. It is a time to support stewardship and mission. Um, we will be having also a special offering today um, that will be going towards um, Week of Compassion. So in addition to your regular offering, we hope that you will consider giving one to Week of Compassion, which is working very hard on um, COVID-19 related issues. Um, you can do so when you go online to give. There is a box that will say um, you can give to Week of Compassion. Um, you can also give by writing a check. Uh, make sure that you point, put that out to uh, or put down there Week of Compassion COVID-19 and mail it into the address that we had said earlier. But we want to give you give this prayer as a dedication of our offering to do the work of Christ in the world. So let us say together, O oh God, you have become our light and our salvation. Let these gifts open the gates of joy to all who hunger and thirst for your holy presence. On this and every day, May they bear the gifts of Alleluia, which we hold so dear, and give away with great joy. We pray in the name of our risen Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. And now, let us take part in the benediction. Do not look for the risen Jesus only here in the confines of this church building. We will seek the risen Jesus on the roads and in the streets in all the pathways and byways of our lives. Do not seek comfort in the familiar, but dare to risk the unfamiliar. We know that the resurrection makes all things new. Do not cling to all the old expected, expected notions about God, Jesus, Spirit, but go forth and celebrate the truly good news because Christ lives, new possibilities are ever before us. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia and amen. Go in peace, dear friends, and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.